Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Geller and you're watching Quick and Kosher and today we are making potato kugel. This is the ultimate and quintessential Jewish side dish and people actually compliment my potato kugel which makes me feel like I've arrived from the bride who knew nothing to making a potato kugel. It's awesome, it feels great and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So basically you're going to start by oiling a glass pan. There's so many quick tips and secrets and one of them is making it in glass. Make this potato kugel in glass and you'll get that fabulous crunchy bottom and sides and oh it's gonna be delicious. Let's get that into our preheated oven. I already preheated it 425 and we're gonna put it in. And we're gonna come back to him soon. Now let's get to our potatoes. Okay, my next quick kitchen tip to the ultimate potato kugel is get a bowl of cold water ready. Basically, as soon as you peel your potatoes, they're gonna start to oxidize. So to make sure that they don't get brown but stay white and beautiful and creamy, you wanna put them once peeled in a bowl of cold water. So these are red skin potatoes, beautiful, large, and creamy on the inside. This is another actual secret to this potato kugel is that I use the red skin potatoes. Now this recipe is in my first book, Quick and Kosher, Recipes from the Bride Who Knew Nothing. And in the book, I actually make potato kugel cups where you actually put, instead of making a nice big baking pan, you make individual cups and like six ounce Pyrexes and each person gets a cup. But today I'm gonna show you how to make just the classic potato kugel in a pan. Three eggs, correct. Make sure you check your eggs for blood spots and give them a quick little whisk. You don't have to overbeat them. So put that in and some coarse black pepper. And just do a final whisk and pull it all together. Before we actually go to put the potatoes in the food processor, we have to cut them lengthwise so they actually feed in the tube of the food processor. So just like this, lengthwise, like that. And that should do the trick. So basically we're gonna grab one large onion for six red skin large potatoes, slice it at the stem ends, and then give it a little slice and we're gonna get peel off the outer layers. Just for kosher reasons, you wanna just give your onion a nice thorough rinse. Okay, so now we head over to the food processor to set it up. I use the blade that makes like shoestring-like uh, strips. So you can actually use the um, finer blade if you want like a finer grated potato kugel, but this is what I like to use. Okay, before we start to process the potatoes, I wanna get the oil nice and hot. So I'm gonna put up some olive oil, about three quarters of a cup here on the stove. So we wanna set this to medium to low heat and get our three quarters of a cup of oil warming here on the stove. Now we get to the processing part. So put it on and we're gonna get our onions down, going. Boom. Onions down at the bottom. Now we do the onions first because they won't brown at the bottom. And now we go with our potatoes. Just put them in and work fast. Good. And that goes in. Great. Next, our eggs. And that goes in. Now we add our oil. Listen to this. Great. So that's going to start to cook right now. And we just pull this together quickly again. If you see any large pieces that like weren't processed by the food processor well, you can just pull them out. But be careful, the oil's hot. Okay, now we're going to go get our pan from the oven. Let's go. We get our potato kugel in. Ooh, nice and smoky and hot. Keep the oven door open because we're going to go right back there. We're going to get this into our hot oil pan. Ah, love the sizzle. It's all about the sizzle. And this is actually, again, how you get that nice crunchy bottom from that hot oiled glass pan. Flatten it out, even it out. Looks great. Nice, thick, deep potato kugel. I'm gonna get this back into the oven. I'm gonna pull it out in about an hour when it's nice, the top is golden brown and the sides are crunchy. And then we're gonna dig in. Okay, I smell it, it's delicious and ready. Look at this. Brown and crunchy on the top, golden on the sides. You just cut into this right now, and in fact, I will. If you're wondering what wine to pair this with, you know I won't leave you hanging. This is perfect with a nice Chardonnay from Carmel, an Israeli winery. It's delicious. Go to my blog for more information on pairing wine with foods and recipes and videos. This recipe can be found on the blog, blog.kosher.com, and in my book with 159 other amazing recipes, Quick and Kosher, Recipes from the Bride Who Knew Nothing. Enjoy your potato kugel. Bateavon.